Hey y'all, good Sunday afternoon. Come on in. Hey, I'm got a late start today here, but nonetheless, we're gonna do Sunday dinner. S real simple, some fried chicken, some corn, and possibly some mac and cheese or a um, salad to go with the chicken and the corn. So what I've got, I found a cut up fryer that wasn't so big. So I'm, I decided we're gonna do fried chicken again today. So y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy while I get this meal ready. And if you want to join in, because I know by now, y'all have probably already sat down to eat and everything. But I'm just getting started. So we're going to start dropping this chicken. Get it in here. Get it to cooking, y'all. That grease is nice and hot. And of course, you know, I always put a lid over mine to make sure it cooks all the way through the middle. Okay. And this is a small chicken. I told y'all, I like small chicken. I don't like those big old chickens. They kind of don't do too well with me so get this in we're gonna cover it and we'll we come back it'll just about be ready okay y'all first pan is ready to come out and when we get that out we're gonna go ahead and uh start on that corn um this is canned whole kernel corn a couple tablespoons of sugar uh half a stick of butter a uh, half a teaspoon of you know it black pepper you gotta have a black pepper for the corn and over here we're just gonna do some uh buttery steamed um i'm getting ready to say cabbage not cabbage but broccoli these are the fresh frozen bags that you get at sam's club which is a good buy from two, two pounds of broccoli and we get ready to take this first pan of chicken out and we're going to keep it moving because i got about two more pans of chicken to fry up so we'll be back look how pretty and golden and crispy Okay, we're just going to go ahead and season the water. We're getting ready now to do some steamed broccoli. I got my onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of everything but the kitchen sink. And I'm going to put some butter in there. And then we're going to go over it on top. But you got to get it really, really hot. Get it boiling. Boiling hot. You don't need a lot of water because... It already has water. Remember, broccoli is a water veg, so you don't have to put a lot in there. So you just go ahead and put that in, get it all melted down. And what I'm going to do is pour it off, and then I'm going to pour it back on there. So it will go all the way through the broccoli. Let's see. Okay, leave out that much in the pan. So, okay. now I'm just gonna start placing these little block. Bro this is two pounds of broccoli. Yeah, I think this that should be enough. A couple of pounds, and if not, you know, broccoli gonna take a few minutes to cook. So if I have to cook more, what are you doing? You want to come? Hey, I got company in the kitchen. Let me hang on this, and I'm gonna show y'all who in the kitchen with me. Let that heat up. Pull that all up. <laughs> I feel you pulling my feet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. These babies be tough. Look at her. She got, let me see. Let me, let me find where she, she put, okay, see, that's her pulling the uh, camera stand. Yeah, she done discovered my camera stand. Look, 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 look down on the floor. Lola, 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 look who down there, look, hey, Jugga, see that depression, say hey, she looking up, she love looking at that light in the kitchen, Lola, she trying to find, child, I done had to sweep and mop this floor, because she'll find every particle, come on, she can crawl good now, y'all, she trying to crawl, she trying to, she can stand up on her own, Look, look, oh, she did it. She did it for y'all. Y'all saw it first on, on, on the, in the kitchen. She stood up for the camera. Look at her. She's crawling now. She wanted to jump off. She's been trying to jump on those steps, too. Lilla. Hey, Jilda. Hey. Hey. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, don't fall. I don't want you to fall. All right, y'all. Okay, we are getting there, y'all. I just 
sprinkle a little bit of cheddar and a little bit of velvet cheese on top of that broccoli just to give it a little different taste. And you're just gonna let it pour the excess water that comes off of it. Pour all that water off and then just leave a little bit in the bottom of the pan and let it sit there. Uh, and then you can put your, even put a little bit more butter on top of it. And uh, in a few minutes, you're gonna have some good old broccoli. And just a little bit of cheese, not a lot of cheese. It, it makes it quite like a casserole. So. And the corn, of course, is back there. It's cooking away. Last batch of chicken in. So we just about done with this meal. And I'm, I've got some croissants. I'm gonna throw some cheese in them and heat them up. And it's gonna be all right, y'all. So hang tight and we'll be done in just a minute. Okay. I'm getting ready to do, uh, I've got, uh, let's see, I think i got four croissants, four or five. Anyway, so what I'm going to do right quick with them, I'm going to go ahead and get them in this butter, and I'm going to put some cheese inside of them, and then we're going to have just, they're just going to be melted cheese inside of them. Um, get some, you know, a good old croissant with some melted cheese inside. You can't really beat it, I don't think. Kind of hard to beat. And these are the croissants that was left over from the other day. We had about four or five of them left over from when we did the croissant with the crispy chicken and the Caesar salad. So, got one more to go. Put that butter on that last one. And we're gonna leave that one in there because I'm gonna go ahead. Well, I got some um sharp cheddar. So load it up with some sharp cheddar. Like so keep that heat down low because we don't want them too too crispy or anything like that. We're gonna lay a piece of Velveeta in there. Just like that's all we're doing, just melting some uh, cheese inside of there. That's all we doing. Get another one. Just a piece of Velveeta in there. And uh, come back with a little cheddar. And if, you, if we don't eat them for dinner, honey, you heat them babies up in the morning with a cup of coffee. You got something on your hands now. I've even got some um, some of this Asiago cheese sprinkle. I'm gonna sprinkle right on the inside there and let it do what it do. Okay, we'll put that on like so. And when those sit in about two or three minutes and get that cheese melted inside of them, we'll be good to go. So that's what we're doing with those croissants. Okay. I got all four of them in that pan, so what I'm gonna do is cover it and let so that that cheese will melt in there. We'll cut them in half and we'll have like eight halves and we can eat it right along with that chicken, uh, that good old steamed broccoli and corn. So this meal is almost ready, y'all. Okay, y'all, we're back. Dinner is ready, y'all. There's that good old creamy, um, cheesy broccoli, some good sweet, honey sweet, cold kernel corn some uh, croissant, cheesy croissant pan fried bread, and of course that good old crispy fried chicken. This is a real simple and really, really good. Uh, just five of us here today, so I decided fried chicken was what I had to tell you. I'm just, I, and I, you know, I keep having these tastes for different things. So I fried chicken today, so just one meat today. Uh, just because, we just want to eat simple today. So anyway, Thank y'all for stopping by to hang out with me for a little while while I prepare this delicious, scrumptious meal. And hope you got something good on your table. I had something good because it's almost 7 o'clock. We're eating a late European meal tonight. So, anywho, y'all continue to pray without ceasing for those who are going through any kind of a situation. Be it the war, the weather, the economy, uh, personal problems at home, relationships, whatever. Just continue to pray without ceasing. Because if you don't get on top of this thing and pray for it, it will wear you out. Take care of yourself. Exercise. Eat well. Do what you can to make life good for yourself. And remember that our latter years should be greater than our former years. Continue to pray without ceasing. Do something kind for somebody. And most of all, get in that kitchen and cook yourself something good to eat. 
and be good to yourself. Thank y'all for stopping by. Love you. See you next time. Toodles.